I'm getting on now, I'm uh, almost into my eighth decade on this planet and I'm increasingly worried about what's actually happening to it uh, across the world with climate change and corporate takeover of all that matters. And at a very local level, we see the pollution across London. Uh, what kind of world are we leaving to my children, grandchildren? Uh, in the time that I've got left, and I hope it's a, few, a good few years yet, I actually think that it's necessary to become involved in uh, a political way with the Green Party to actually change the way things are done, to raise people's awareness and to have a, a much more open, transparent political life where people don't give up just because they see much, so much lies and corruption round about them. Uh, and we do live in a world of lies and corruption. And let's expose that. Let's demand something better. Uh, I've been a chief officer in the local council in Hackney fighting Mrs Thatcher's cuts uh, right, right, right on the edge, on the edge of illegality in fact in these days. So I've been through all this before, uh, between 25 and 30 years ago, it seems a long time. It's happening now, but it's happening much worse this time, but it's much less uh, real opposition because people buy into austerity. I don't buy into that. I've worked in many parts of the world uh, as a consultant on health and social development, uh, trying to help vulnerable populations uh, resist some of the exploitation and overtaking of their worlds which have been happening to them, resisting uh, the worst effects of poverty. Uh, some of this happens right here in Harringay. There's a possible corporate takeover of our health service, uh, which is going on as we are speaking now. Uh, Virgin Care, Circle, companies like that who are only interested in profits uh, and led by a government that wants them to take over our health sector and make it like the energy sector currently is in a matter of years. That's what will actually happen if we don't fight for the health service which some of us were born into and for better local services and against the whole austerity agenda. So that's what motivates me. There is another agenda, not austerity, which means more for the rich and less for the poor. My own priorities are, I think, uh, doing something about uh, particularly a better world of health and social care in, in Haringey. Uh, there's a lot going on in terms of needing to uh, resist the worst privatisations in the health service. Uh, the council has a new public health role, it has a health and wellbeing board and scrutiny committees which, uh, if elected, uh, we have to make use of uh, to get a much higher profile for uh, local services. Social care is a huge part of the current budget and yet it's, uh, most people don't even get access to it. Uh, I think much more could be done in preventive work on getting good neighbour schemes going, on using the talents of local people, old and young, to work with the more frail and the council encouraging ways of doing that in different kinds of local partnerships. A new way, a more innovative way and a more publicly involved, user-led way of running the social services, not just leaving it to the experts. Uh, I think my own expert background and belief in people's own capacities uh, can be put together to help do that. It's a tremendous cutting back going on. So far we haven't lost libraries, but what will happen in another year? So far the parks are still there, the green spaces are there, but they could be better used. What happens if the developers come in and they've been trying to uh, encourage big developers into Tottenham Hill uh, to take over the area beside the Spurs ground, giving money to Spurs but not to local people? Uh, what will happen to Alexandra Palace and Park if we are not very vigilant about uh, looking after what's currently going on there, which is by and large good? So more vigilance, more resistance to top-down development, and more grassroots help for organisations who are actually looking after our own health and welfare uh, and have got very good ideas about uh, how Tottenham, how Hornsey and how here in Alexandra Park things can be run uh, for people. So I, I, I have an interest in the whole borough doing something about the East-West divide as well as taking up issues in Alexandra itself because if there are two or three of us elected onto this council 
and there is still a Labour majority, we think some number less Lib Dems than there were previously, we could have quite an influence in this council. We don't take the party whip and we can be more than just a thorn in the side, we can look at corruption and lies and expose them when they happen without fear or favour and that's what we'll do. So both at the local, the national and saving the planet level, uh, voting green really does make sense. Uh, so my appeal is to everybody from whichever party background they may still have some loyalty to despite the alienation from it, particularly in the Labour and left ranks, uh, I would say vote green. It's the only party which is actually standing up against austerity and vote green for a better Alexander, for a better Haringey and a better world.